Brigham, it's so freaking bright in here. What's wrong with our lights? This isn't cool. Imagine if a sparkle minnow and a Crelex got mixed all together somehow. That's how bright it is. Turn off the lights, dude. Dude, that's a big brown bro. This is going to be a fun one. Check this out. This. Yes, it's a sparkle minnow. And yes, it is a Crelex. So imagine if those two had a baby that was just a tractor beam of hotness for fish to eat. That's what this is. So just for ease of explaining that it's just half Crelex, half Sparkle Minnow, I'm just going to call it a Glitter Minnow. So, I'm not claiming that I invented either one of those flies, but, I mean, uh, this is a cool pattern to put those two together. So let's check it out. First things first. I've got a size 2, 5263. You can also use a 4. This is a slotted cone that I have on it, this tungsten. And I actually put a four and a half mil uh, tungsten bead and I jam it up under the cone for maximum weight. And then just to get that all to play nicely, I'm gonna put about 10 or 15 wraps of lead and just jam that up against the bead and glue it all in place. All right, I like to turn the slot on that cone so it's facing down. And then I'm just going to give that a little bit of a bath of super glue. All right, that ought to hold it in place for the time being. All right, grab whatever whatever thread you like. This is about a 140 denier something or other. I don't want it to be too gnarly, but I don't want it to be 70 denier and thin. All right, so. The tail on this one's going to be two-toned, and the lighter color I usually like to put on the bottom. So um, I'm going to double this over, so I'm just going to take out a little sliver. Um, and it's important that you're going to cut it as close to the tie, tie down or the zip tie as you can. Before I tie this in, I'm going to take my thread back about to the midpoint of the shank. And I'm going to measure out on the back of the fly. I want my tail to be about that long. So I'll just trap that down, wrap this back, and just pull these over on top of themselves. And if you have to, trim all those flush. You can see I'm just a little bit off here. All right. So that's the bottom half of the tail. Now this stuff that I'm using, this is Shimmer Boo from Hairline. So Hairline has it, and then MFC also has Fish Flash. So this is the Crelex type material, also known as like Polar Flash. But um, this Shimmer Boo has all of the cool, good colors. You know, purple, black, brown, gold, a bunch of silvers. It's really cool stuff. All right, so I'm gonna do the same thing with the, the gold. Just put that on top of itself, just like that. We'll check the length and, you know, we'll just keep this true to Crelex lower. The tail is just cut flat and flush. All right, we're going to take our thread all the way back, um, right about to where it's going to go down the bend, and that's, that's going to be your best way to keep that from fouling. Um, <clears throat> all right, so the body, I'm going to build the body out of ripple eye stub in gold and mother of pearl. So the, the way I'm going to do this is I'm just going to blend this in hand. Like you could get some dog brushes and, and blend this up. Don't use a blender, whatever you do, or, or a uh, coffee grinder. It just chops eye stub up. So anyway... Ripple Eye Stub in those two colors, I have them kind of pinched in my hand and I'm just going to do this maneuver until it's kind of fairly well incorporated. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you just kind of want those to be mixed up. Once I'm here, I'm actually going to do a double 
dubbing loop. I want this to be really durable and I'll close that off behind the loop. Then I will just go forward with all my thread. I'll, I'll put some wraps over this lead just to kind of make it a little more durable. And then take your favorite dubbing twister tool. I'm using the Sman. Ah, they got a purple stem on it. Of course I'm going to show that off. Brigham? Yeah. Brigham shaking his head at me. I don't appreciate it. Alright, so with this dubbing that I just blend it up, I'm going to take a, a, you know, a chunk here and there. Don't put it all in at the same time. And just spread that out in your loop. So there we've got a pretty cool looking dubbing loop. You can adjust it with your fingers if you have to. And then we'll just twist that bad boy up. So it'll mat down like this. Not a big deal. So I'll just come in before it gets too tight and I'll take some Velcro and brush it out. All right from here I'm just going to wrap that all the way forward. Yeah, and it should stop right here up by the, the cone and the bead. We got lucky on that one that was just the right amount of dubbing in there. So we'll really cinch that down and we'll brush that all out now. So on a sparkle minnow, if you ever want to tie those, just use, you know, a lot of the ice stubs that are metallic colors are, are very straight and flowy. So you can just build a body like that for a sparkle minnow. All right. Now the sparkle minnows that I like have like a black sharpie drawn across the back of them. I'm just going to use this. I can't remember what this color is called, but it's like a black and gold mixed together. Kind of a mottled, it's like an antique gold or an old gold. Oh, they got crazy names nowadays. All right, so I'm going to lay that down so that it hits about halfway into the tail. That's kind of a Crelex technique. So I'll tie that in. But before I fold that over, I'm going to fill it in with some gold. Do that same thing. And I'll fold these over and trim those that same length. Now this is a problem. This is the tool that Brigham was trying to test his hearing with. It's a long story, but goodness gracious, the poor, poor kid. I didn't want to tell him. Anyway, but this is a new tool by Sman. And everybody's got like their hair clip for tying streamers. This one's really cool. All you do is you're, you're going to open that up. Slide it on and clamp down. It keeps the, the handle out of the way. Really comfy to tie with that. Um, you know, just, just hanging out right there. All right. So once we have that, we're going to build a collar. And I'm just going to use the gold ripple eye stub for, for the collar on this one. Again, I'm going to do a double dubbing loop. Close it off. And we're going to build up a healthy collar. Okay, we'll twist that up and again brush it out before we wrap it. Wrap it to about right there. And we'll tie that off. 
this slotted cone is kind of tricky to, to finish the fly with because it kind of wants to sit at a weird angle. So just work through that. Put a just a couple turn whip finish on there. Let's see, trim that off. Now we're going to take that off. You can see how that's cool. It slides over the fly and then you just keep sliding off the back. You can see when we brush that all out, the gold really takes, you know, a prominent effect as the main color of this fly. But anyway, this one is super simple. You can tie it in a billion different colors because of all the different synthetics that are out there. So, yeah, I didn't invent it. I just put the two together into a glitter minnow.